some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Sheep Show as he attempts to interview Katie Kidman's lawyer, but a lot of times it seems more like he's trying to attack him. At any rate, this video will show you exactly why Katie Kidman lost the case. I mean, the quality of her lawyer is outrageously slow, and Sheep Show continues to show his very low intelligence. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. Hey, yeah, how come you? I'd rather not be recorded. About how, how come you're not subpoenaing that other officer? Which officer? That other cop that the one that put his filthy pig hands on her. Which officer are you talking? About? The blonde one. The, the blonde one. He went to the Miller School, oh. and he wasn't. Yeah, why didn't you subpoena the cop that stuck his filthy pig hands on her? They're all on the, the witness list. Oh, I thought he wasn't coming. Uh, if he's, you know, subpoena. Oh. It's whoever's on the witness list. That's it. Is he on the witness list? He's on the witness list. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's he's good. Okay, he's, good. Yeah. I yeah. thought I thought that he wasn't so good. He's, yeah. Thank he's, you. He is. No Thank you. You're a public defender. Yes, I am. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good guy. I just wouldn't post. I wouldn't post that for now. I'm sorry. I wouldn't post any of that. Like any of that for now. Oh, confer with your client, and if your client asks me not to post it, I won't. It's just better you don't. We're in the middle of a trial, so it's just better that we don't have any of that stuff out there, right? So well, with all the respect, I don't really care what your wishes are. If you don't want me to post it, confer with your client. If your client doesn't want me to post it, I won't post it. Well, you idiot, it's a matter of integrity of the case. The reason why he doesn't want it to get out is because it might jeopardize the case. But that's a moot point now, considering that she lost pretty badly. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. A yeah. confidentiality in a public trial. Well, in terms of what's going on in the actual trial, I can't really talk about. What's this going is on the courtroom, and we're in a trial right here. This is not the courtroom. Yet. So, the, what is your argument? I'm not sure why you're getting defensive with me. Sure. You just said use the word confidentiality out here in a public forum, well, yes, and then you use the word what's going on with the trial. Yeah. This has nothing to do with the trial, so I, I'm trying to well, figure I'm out where you're going. Your purpose for. Well, gee, let me see. You're trying to interview her lawyer on a public sidewalk about a case that's ongoing, which any leaked information might jeopardize the case to begin with. And there's that little issue of attorney-client privilege. And then there's that easy, weensy little matter of the ethics rules that he's got to follow. Which, if he breaks any of the ethics rules, he can be charged and possibly disbarred, meaning he's out of a job. Coming here is to come and do some sort of publicity to the trial. Is, that, is it? Is that? Is I that don't remember purpose? saying that. I don't know. Maybe I did. Okay. Well, I just, I would request that you do not. Yeah. Record, man. You understand we're all about transparency, right? Yeah, I understand. You understand that, that right? Yes, I understand. You understand that. that we believe that the public has the right to know what is happening behind their backs in in America, right? You understand that the public has the right to know that this woman is being railroaded by a corrupt district attorney in a corrupt courthouse, arrested by corrupt police, that's, that's based on based on false charges by corrupt school officials. You understand that's what's happening here, right? That's and you understand that. The, yeah. the, the, the citizens of the United States of America would have an interest in something like that happening, correct? That's a nice paranoid delusional fantasy you got there. It'd be a shame if it was, well, misguided. You and Katie call them all corrupt, but here's the thing. Do you even know how any of that stuff operates? And given from what I've seen of the two of you, I would have to say that's a no. So I don't understand the whole please keep it on the hush hush. You well, should be. That's exactly what I'm trying to do there. Yeah. And that's going to happen in the courtroom. Okay. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Because we're not. If you told me not to do this in the courtroom, okay. I understand. But we're that. we're yeah. we're not in the courtroom. We're out here, and I'm a constitutional activist, and uh, I'm here specifically engaged in my constitutionally protected activity to push back against everyone that tells me they'd rather I didn't film. What I would rather just not. I would rather not be on any sort of platform. Right? that makes sense. I, I keep myself myself confidential in general. So. I, I, yeah, yeah. Maybe, 
I don't know, maybe private practice? I, 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 honestly, you're a public defender and I'm, and I'm offended at what you just said. I'm just, I'm deeply offended that you would tell me that not to record you. I just, I, I, I'm not on any social media. That's that's my own. This is a, this is a case of great public interest, okay? Well, this, this, this is a case where... This, this is a case of great public interest. Well, here's my response to that. You're an ass. You are so lame. Someone is being accused, and this is actually a, a civil case. It's not a criminal case. This, if anything, they should have. These people should have tried to go to civil court. This is not a criminal case. It seems like they're getting pressure from these schools and these people to prosecute her. Oh, you're and saying also, this should have been a civil case? It shouldn't it yeah. should, this shouldn't have been a criminal case? Yes, I got you. And what this should have been is is a simple, um, you know, just ask her to follow the laws, and that's it. And actually, she didn't break any laws. Yeah. So, all she did was confront and ask questions. Go well, to places where she had a legal right to be. And that's what she did. And she okay. All she did was ask questions and they had no right to tell her to leave. I see now why she lost the case and there were so many objections by the uh, prosecuting attorney. She got the bottom of the barrel lawyer. And... Okay. Uh, I mean, the way that they responded kind of proved your point that our schools and uh, our government are taking advantage of people's rights. And the schools are not being handled by, you know, particularly um, intelligent people. Right. So the people that are working at these schools, any, other, any normal person, you know, a 63-year-old grandmother uh, comes to their campus is not going to be scared. They're gonna just answer the questions, and you know, and she's gonna get the question. She's gonna get the answers that she wants or not, and just cooperate with her, not treat her the way they did. They treat her with with great disrespect. Uh, the DA's office did the same thing. Okay. And um, I'm just here to expose that. And um, in terms of the law, they could try to get her on some of it, but for a lot of it, they they have no case. Hallelujah. Yeah. So. A lot of the dev no case. My opinion of these three stooges goes something like this. While the attorney is the brightest one of the three, they still don't have enough brain power between the, the three of them to power a nightlight. The lawyer right there was talking about that school did not have the right to kick her out. Yes, they do have the right to kick her out. That's just simple trespassing law alone right there. And then Sheep Show, that's another level of stupidity right there. I mean, he has no understanding of attorney-client privilege at all. Just because you're standing on a sidewalk doesn't mean that attorney-client privilege is null and void. I mean, that is sheer stupidity.